The following program contains adult content, adult language, inaccurate depictions of the news, parodies that are protected under fair use, inappropriate plugs to a non-existent OnlyFans account, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. And now, The Wrong News with Danny and Alvin. Brought to you by Steve, the intern. His employment is always questionable. Hey, All what's right. going on, everybody? We are with the news now. Okay, that's amazing. Psychological nudity. Yep, yep. <laughs> you're definitely going to get it. And that, uh, that OnlyFans account. Look at this cat. This is ridiculous. How am I supposed to do the news? I got a cat on my knee that's just hugging it with all over her might. Ah, oh, thank you guys for being here. Uh, yeah, if this is your first news segment, you're about to be disappointed. So, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Indeed. Yes. So, we're going to go over some of the news uh, that was going on over the past week. Some of these things, uh, if it did happen before that, well, it's, it's the first time that we've uh, we've heard of it. Okay. So, it's news, the also, wrong news for this program. Also, we're, uh, apparently we don't have a lot of in, any really spicy stories this week. So, if you're here last week yeah, for and Gilbert got- Gottfried and Pikachu singing wet ass, uh, Pika, uh, then it, we don't have anything that spicy. No, so if you got kids in the so, room, it's okay. There, there's nothing in here that's going to go like, ooh, that's, that's, uh, that's a spicy meat the ball. I've had a few cats planted on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. All yeah. right. First story. Uh, we're going to jump into some space news first. How about that, right? Well, it seems think... like the last three sessions, that's where we've always started. Well, so. it kind of ended up being that way, doesn't it? Yep. So, uh, uh, Jupiter is in the news. Uh, they seen this uh, really strange... Made it in time. Yes, he did. Hell yeah. See, if we had started it early, we would have missed... You, you saw the mention. disclaimer, right? <laughs> yeah, he, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. Like. So, uh, people saw back in 1994, uh, they could see when Shoemaker-Levy 9, the, the asteroids hit, uh, they could see cloud patterns as to how fast the clouds whip sure. around uh, Jupiter. So, oh. what they found out was that there's this, in the past week or so... This uh, eruption of uh, this this gas that's coming out. It's cyanide gas that's coming out of Jupiter. And it's its a whole band, and they think it's going, uh, what is it, 400 meters per second. Uh, spectacular results. Uh, da, 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 uh, it's uh, 1450 kilometers an hour. Uh, that's anyway, insane. It, maximum speed. It's crazy, right? So I had to look up and see, like, what is the uh, what is the, the chemical composition of this stuff? And it's called uh, hydrogen cyanide. And it's usually found on Earth from uh, manufacturing plants. It's like from chemicals of uh, a byproduct of burning plastic, okay. burning nylon, and things like that. It tastes and smells of, of bitter almonds. So, uh... Oh, a new Jupiter storm. Hell yeah. Yeah, and it's it's really creepy. But it's like a whole band that's going across uh, the bottom of the planet, and nobody knows where it came from. Nobody knows what, what caused it. However, sure. Steve the intern said that he's got exclusive footage to figure out what happened. Okay. And why exactly uh, Jupiter has this, this outburst of gases. And wait a minute. I recognize that asshole. That's me. Wait, what is... Th- Hey, this is the the stream of Palooza that we did for for ten hours. Oh, but you no, made it. But we we made it. But it was Sevastopol Station, so the chemical reaction is apparently coming from Sevastopol. Wow. Yeah, well, it did crash from, into Jupiter. It did. It so. did. So I it mean, makes that sense. Is, uh, that's a big explosion coming. Why that does thing's Steve like the size, know this? I know, right? I guess Steve was was watching the entire time. Jupiter is tripping. Like, yeah, absolutely. At well, there it is, and that's exactly where it is too. So that it's uh, unis- wow. That makes an ass ton of sense. Steve, so, you nailed Steve, it. Steve, you nailed it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Sorry about your death. Sorry about your death. Yeah, I mean, how, do, how the hell did you get that footage? So, uh, also the the Lyranids is going on. The what? Lyranids, a uh, meteor shower. Oh. Uh, we always name uh, meteor showers based off of whatever constellation that it looks like they're coming out of. Sure, yeah. And it's always, you know, an artifact of where the Earth is in relation to the sun as it travels across, you know, our solar system. Rest in peace, Steve. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, so we've got some footage whenever a uh, uh, we get 
uh, meteor showers. Sometimes, because it's a, a massive debris field, you get daytime fireballs. Oh, you whoa. can see this cool shit. Yeah. Right? I've, I've actually seen one of those. I saw one a couple of years ago, and it was That's really freaking awesome. That is dope. So these things have been seen in uh, 15 different countries. Um, there was actually one in the UK earlier this week that was seen in broad daylight. You can see some of this footage right now. This is really cool. Like, have you ever seen one of these in real life? I haven't, no. Me and my mom would sit out and drink whiskey on the porch and just hope. It's like, oh, we're going to see one tonight. We're going to see one tonight. And it, it really turns night into day for a for a second and it's it's so cool now i remember being on your back porch when the crazy lunar eclipse happened the solar eclipse solar eclipse yeah 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 yeah. yeah. that was an awesome time like, too. Uh, yeah we, had, we filmed that yeah, whole we, thing too yeah it was, that was pretty that was awesome yeah yeah that's awesome man so not only you know do you get meteor showers but you know you get fireballs as well and so you can see them in the daytime and, and one more shot you can see some of the places uh this is some of the the uh the rare daylight fireballs that you could have seen yeah and they caused sonic booms now the sonic boom things is kind of scary because you can hear a boom the world is ending you know probably it, it has it, been it, been i don't mean it to time. be that way but it did now steve he says he's got some exclusive footage as to what is behind one of these fireballs actually made landfall somewhere in that region Somewhere just just to the to the east of there. So we're gonna we're gonna see what that was now. And oh, uh, it's Space Godzilla. Son of a bitch, Steve. Again, now, this is. I mean, this is getting old, Steve. Come on. This joke's been done three times, Steve. This is not. <laughs> God damn it, Steve. No. I mean, can we at least get the music, Steve? Can you? I mean. Uh, cheers, buddy. It makes sense. This at is least. the news. It makes sense. A little late. Good He's job, a little Steve. late with the music, but okay, Steve. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. We need to stop. We need to, yeah. yeah. Well, Elon Musk tried. That was last week. Yes. Elon Musk tried. He failed spectacularly. So this is a this is a, a heartwarming story. Oh, okay. This is kind of cool. So uh, everybody remember what happened with Hydrate. the... Hydra. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just said... God almighty. Woo. Okay. Ugh. Show map. Okay, does everybody remember what happened last month with, uh... Also, is there anything that I need to read? Because I'm going <laughs> to... When are you going to reveal that Steve is Space Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> That's an episode for later. Oh, God. Hashtag subscribe to our OnlyFans. And you'll see all that. You know, all you'll that see me, Danny, uh, and Steve. <coughs> just hanging out in Ranger panties and tank tops. Yeah. In a, in a tub. Please. Re reading the news. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a hot tub. We're just like, can you guys believe this happened? Dude, what? Oh, God. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hey, the shiny, penguin. the shiny penguin is here. We just started the news. You haven't missed anything except Space Godzilla. So. Oh, well, Steve, the uh, one god. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so, heartwarming story. Okay. Uh, which uh, has some financial implications. Anybody remember what happened last month with GameStop? Or GameSpot. What is it? What is GameStop? It? GameStop. Yeah, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Uh, whiskey, sorry. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, so uh, Redditors got together and they figured out, hey, we can make memes, we can stick it to the stock market and make a shit ton of money. Yeah. And they were successful. They were. Which uh, pissed a lot of people off. So uh, here we go. Here's some just some memes. I didn't make these memes. This is not me. Robin Hood Risk Management Department. You think this is funny? Wall Street bets. <laughs> you know, uh, we've got a couple of memes. Just to, you know, when GameStop stocks, when you buy those, just because Reddit told you so. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm doing it really, really well. Facts, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had no idea about it, and I, I considered it. And uh, <laughs> you can't meme a stock and cost us billions, retail investors. We ride at dawn, bitches! <laughs> oh, I love it. So, that said, all that money, they got an ass ton of money, right? Reddit investors use GameStop proceeds to adopt thousands of gorillas. What? Yeah, yeah. How's that heartwarming? That's frightening. Well, I mean, you know, they, they could have been, you know, killed. They could have been poached. Uh, a bunch of Redditors got bored, manipulated the freaking stock market, and beating big corporations at their own game. Apes strung together. That was their hashtag that they used the entire That's time. That's facts. That's facts. Apes okay. strung together. So yeah. members of the popular Wall Street Bet subreddit have adopted more than 3,500 gorillas within six days by donating to the uh, Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund. Since you can't buy stocks over the weekend, the company decided to spend some of their, their new money. Earned from the GameStop stocks, which cost 350 last week, on something positive. Uh, the connection comes from 
uh, Ape Gang, an internal uh, nickname for a subreddit referencing the idea that the group is like a bunch of monkeys pressing buttons on a keyboard to buy stocks. A seemingly random outburst of philanthropy uh, was noticed by the fund, which adopted the catchphrase, Apes Strong Together. Now, that said, uh, let's see, I've got another... Yeah, apes strong together. There yep. we go. Okay, Wall Street so, best guy. So apparently those uh, those apes, though, like you, you you probably foresaw, something bad did happen. Oh fuck! You, you put that many gorillas together with that much money behind them. They they did seem to to band together and. Uh, uh, I've seen this movie. Yeah, it didn't end well, did it? It did no, not. No, you think they would have learned better by now. You think they There was learned. like an entire movie made on this Wall Street. Several. Hits. Several like, movies. Yeah. Several, in fact. Yeah. That's sad. Some of them not so good. Most of them not so good. I think all of them not so good, but that's just I like the original ones. My opinion. Yeah, damn dirty apes. I like that one with Charlton Heston. Okay. So, the age of the coof. Apparently almost over in some places. Some places it's perpetual, depending on your local government. But in in Japan, finally, after all of this time, Nintendo World has finally opened. I don't know if you, you're aware of this. It's a theme park, like Six Flags or Universal Studios, all based with Nintendo characters. So the entire park is all... Nintendo. That's amazing. You can get, uh, you can do all these things. You can go for Mario Kart racing, you know, with all these little things. It's like you ride over stuff and you sure. collect items. You yeah. can use them digitally. So it's, it's, everybody's been really looking forward to this. Uh, on Thursday, Super Nintendo World theme park finally opened at Universal Studios in Japan and Osaka. The park was originally meant to open last summer ahead of the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, but, you know, the Kami Cough hit. I don't want to ride a <laughs> drunken Mario party. We do fucking need to do that. Uh, so there's a lot of things that you can fucking do, right? There's a lot of shit that you can fucking do. You can you can compete in a Mario Kart race. Can we ride Peach? <laughs> yeah. Woo, buddy. Ooh, buddy. It, it is Japan, so possibly. Uh, you can ride a Yoshi. You can purchase a power-up band, which keeps track of all the stuff that you've won. When you compete in prizes and when things you punch and stuff blocks. like that. When you what? punch blocks, you get coins. You can punch question blocks. You can chat on in gaming-based snacks. But all of this, this sounds nice and everything, but it's not without controversy. Of course. It's not without some, some oopsie doopsies. Uh, Nintendo World has had the United Nations shine some light on them from some possible animal, bu- animal abuse what the uh, fuck? allegations. Uh, possible slavery allegations. There's, there's apparently not some good things going on at Nintendo World. Steve the Intern has some exclusive footage to find out what the hell is going on. Oh, that's good. Where is, where is the animal abuse coming from? And... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, it's Yoshi. It's Yoshi. Yeah, they're making him... They get him chained up. Wow. You uh, fucking monsters. I hope they're taking care of him, but it doesn't... He looks kind of skinny. He actually looks a lot different from the Yoshi that I remember. Yeah. He's not even green. Mmm. That doesn't look good. I don't know why the cat's Dino freaking the fuck that is, out. That's insane. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. So, uh, there's... When in America. I would like one here, too. Yes, I agree. Except, unless they're keeping Yoshi on a fucking chain. Exactly. Yoshi needs to be free. Free Free, my boy Yoshi. Free Yoshi. Hashtag Hashtag free free Yoshi. Yoshi. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Cheers. Okay. So, uh, in light of some some terrible things that's been going on in the country with uh, gun violence and some other things, of course, the government always likes to come up with the idea of, like, hey, we'll just buy your guns. If, if law-abiding citizens don't have guns, that'll stop crimes, right? That's, that's not really how that do. But in Florida, uh, the local police department came up with an idea that said, no questions asked. You bring a firearm in, we will buy it. We will buy it for $200. I read about this, and this is... you know where this is going. This is glorious. So, this is America, by God, and it's also Florida, damn it. So, people got together, and they were like, hey, no questions asked. They'll buy a gun. This is gold. 200 bucks. So, what's up, craftsmen all across the United States? A couple of fellas picked up a couple of rifles from people in the Addingdale buyback program. Uh, some people, blah, 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 as in these rifles, the vast majority, were absolute junk. Numerous people told that they sold their old junk to buy brand new firearms. Ah, uh, okay, so, uh, some of these people were Marines. My eyes are blinking out. I may have to have you uh, read some of this. 
Someone sold a Marine in thirty minutes into flare the gun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Other, other attendees <laughs> had uh, air pistols, yeah. BB pellet guns, yeah, you, and... Uh, you nailed it. Okay. You nailed it. That was the line right there. So let's take a look at some of these guns right here. I just love this shot of the uh, police officer with his hands on his hips. He's just like... <laughs> it's Boomstick 1776! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, that's, a, that's a fucking tuba. It's still got the fucking low stack on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit okay well this guy showed up and made a million fucking dollars oh so, facts yeah, yeah facts. i guarantee it yeah uh my eyes blinked out i ruined the punchline <laughs> i'm taking this off i can't fucking breathe okay okay so uh some beautiful and brave news okay. this one's a little spicy but not not too much it's not you know okay it's, it's not real bad so uh for the first time ever uh there was a beauty pageant in nevada Damn, gun owners, not so stupid. Uh, I'll sell trash for $200, wouldn't you? Word, yeah, I mean, word. yeah. I mean, that was like, a, that was like what, a $5 pipe? Yeah. It's like $3 worth of wood. <laughs> it's like, what's the overhead on that? Holy crap. <laughs> You're a fucking genius. So Wiley, <laughs> like so. Run the statistics. Wiley Coyote made off like a fucking bandit. So, uh, uh, a beauty pageant happened in Nevada over the past weekend. Okay. And uh, for the first time ever, a, uh, a transgender won the beauty pageant. Okay. Which also, it, it, it pissed off a lot of women, you know? Like, they were like, hey, I've been training to be in the beauty pageants my whole life. This is bullshit. Okay. And this dude walks in, and he's just like, no. I have nailed it, and it's beautiful. Steve the Intern has an exclusive uh, photo Weird. of the story. Okay. And, uh, wow. Wow. It comes Good from job, the com. Okay. Good job. Good job. Wow. Cloud did a good job. So, also, uh, this week in the news, cancel culture and, uh, you know, appropriating and uh, change things with the times, so Ugh. to speak. Hasbro is making waves again. You know, a couple of weeks ago, they were changing Mr. Potato Head, making him uh, neutral. I don't know what that says. Uh, Hidden Ninja said he would. And, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, 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 my geek said... Uh, Wowie. <laughs> sad face. <laughs> oh, it's a sad face. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so they're changing Monopoly. And damn, I was curious how you would pull off that nose dive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually shocked now that they call this the nose dive. Yeah. <laughs> So, Monopoly is updating 16 cards to better reflect their communities. Some of the things they're getting rid of is uh, beauty contests. That's in the game, like you know, you draw I, I a card. Play, yeah. You get, yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently, this comes from uh, a couple of a uh, couple of folks. Uh, Hasbro will change all sixteen Monopoly's community chess cards uh, and remove outdated concepts such as beauty pageants and contests, holiday funds, and things like that. It's been long overdue. Uh, they need a refresher, and they're actually they're actually putting it up to people to uh, to kind of like, hey, you, you wanna you wanna come up with one yourself but this actually comes from uh a, a, a couple of games some high profile games in the uh, monopoly world uh okay. where one person just kept winning over and over and over again and I, I don't know if they had like illegal beauty pageant cards okay of how many times they could play them but uh that's that's one of the reasons that they're changing it and i think we have a footage right here of uh that that game in progress of you know that makes sense. Tons of Final damn, Fantasy damn VII it. news. Damn it, Cloud! If <laughs> that episode was earlier this week, <laughs> if you if you missed it, it was good. Oh, that's sad that, that Monopoly's time. actually doing that though. That's, that's I know, right? Wild. They're changing things. I, I can understand it, but uh, you know, it kind of looks like Don Corneo is just having a fucking good time. He's he's, ha he's got the Corona. He's, he's not mad, but you know, Tifa and Aerith looks kind of pissed off. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this. Penguin says he's like. <laughs> So, uh, uh, in the age of, uh, it's the month of March. It's, it's Wimexon's month. Yep, yep, I was aware. So, uh, Vice President Camilla Harris is going to be, uh, giving a speech. You Thank know what? Thank you so Fine. much, Ted. I That's appreciate amazing. It. I appreciate it. The chat did get quiet. They're just like, I don't know. I don't, well, they're don't watching like the this. news. So that's true, that's true. So, uh, uh, Camilla Harris is in the news. And she is going to be giving a, uh, a, a speech... Uh, about the effects of COVID-19 and the oppression of women and uh, 
I'm not reading that. Uh, and, and how women have had a hard time lately. You know, it's just, it's rough to have, you know, women being kept down. So who they have to headline with Camilla Harris is this, Bill Clinton. Are you fucking kidding no, me? No, that's actually a real story right now. That's not a Photoshop. That, that comes from theblaze.com. One-on-one with Bill Clinton to discuss the empowering of women and girls. Uh, I, I had some other stories that was going to go in here uh, about Kathleen Willey and uh, is, is, some other people, but I deemed that a little too spicy. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna move on. So uh, we do have a shot, however, of Bill Clinton getting ready for this. There speech. is no way. I, okay. There is no yeah. way. I, I well, I mean, you know, if you're here for the bad video games, that's cool. We we do that most of the time. Yeah, but, we take you know take about thirty minutes to talk about the news over the past week on Thursday. And it's not just politics. We do space no, news, no, but there is a block of, of politics because it, it just happened to be that way in the news this week. That is insanity. That that you would choose Bill Clinton. So that to really is weird women. for that. Yeah. So uh, you know, Steve, the intern, has an exclusive photo of Bill Clinton getting ready on a particular island. Uh, oh my god! For this, and uh, can we take a take a quick look at? Oh well, son of oh. a bitch! <laughs> Fucking cloud is everywhere this week. God, you know, I think that he was he nailed that look, and he was just like, I'm rolling with it. This is good stuff. Uh. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good it. thing, Penguin. That's a good thing. Uh, I only listen when I feel like it's important. Okay. <laughs> you know, this is one of those times when I'm I'm really glad that our show's logo has that extended banner that goes up. Yes, just, very just much. Ever so, especially so in this conspicuously. Scenario. Okay, so Joe Biden's in the news, and I do apologize for the amount of political content, but it was a big week for politics. Okay. I mean, you can go back and look at our our other stuff. Not filled with as much stuff like this. True. It was just, it's just how the news went this week. So, uh, the Biden administration was trying to reach out all across world leaders and saying, hey, talk to me. Hey, man, you know the thing. Talk to me. Come on, man. Talk with me. So, uh, he was reaching out to North Korea. They actually fired off two missiles yesterday. Did you see that? I did, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they're back up to doing that crap again. She's... Uh, she says, uh, Kim Yo-jong says, don't cause a stink. What are you talking about? Uh, Biden administration says it's been trying to contact the North Korean government since February, but they're just, they're just not saying anything. And then North Korea replies to that, that, that news story and just says, it's a waste of time. We're not going to freaking talk to you. So then, uh, Joe Biden gets on TV and, uh, he ends up calling Vladimir Putin stone cold killer of his own people he's not even talked with him to anyone's knowledge what he just starts shooting his mouth off and saying a bunch of dumb shit right i did not see that yeah great so we're gonna go back to war so immediately uh moscow russian envoys was just like ambassadors go do your ambassador shit go what the fuck is going on what the fuck so then as uh as vladimir putin does uh, he was asked about it and he just uh he had a, a reply We'll also discuss... Wait, actually, wait. Is that the same thing? Wait, oops, oops, oops. Here we go. This was Vladimir Putin's. As he said... I don't think we're going to get copyright claim. What would I reply to him? I would say, I wish you health. I wish you health. I wish you health. I, wish you health. I say that without any irony or joke. And you know, I remember in my childhood, when we argued in the courtyard, we used to say... (laughs) What the fuck? That is a joke, but that is absolutely what he said. He he did say it takes one to know one in Russian. Which wow. basically translates to, I know you are, but what am I? Oh my god. Yeah, dude. so it's good to see that our world leaders are acting like yeah. adults. Good job, right? world leaders. You're yeah. doing great. Yeah, so then uh, on American soil, we had the Chinese envoy okay. uh, come in we'll also and it hit us on this front. Our deep concerns with actions by China, including Xinjiang, Hong Kong, Taiwan, cyber attacks on the United States. So you're like, hey, you guys have done some bad shit. What are you going to do? Each of these actions threaten the rules-based order 
that maintains global stability? Uh, well, I think we thought too well of the United States. We thought that the U.S. side will Oops. follow the necessary diplomatic protocol. So for China, it was necessary that we make our position clear. So let me say here that in front of the Chinese side, the United States does not have the qualification to say that it wants to speak to China from a position of strength. Strength was the last word. Steve got that cut off. Whew. So we, the United States, absolutely got decimated uh, in the past week and uh, wow, emasculated. I was like, you guys are weak and we're not talking to you. We don't care. So then how does Joe Biden respond to all of that happening? Okay. So the very Joe Biden news this The week. very next day, he falls going up. I, I I think everybody saw this. Everybody yeah. did see that. Now we do have an exclusive, and we are going to show the footage of Joe Biden falling up the stairs, which I think it takes talent. Anybody could fall down the stairs. It's tough to fall up stairs. That's facts. It's true. It's true. I have so, done it. I have done it uh, before. Stairs. I always Lots take of that alcohol ghost, was involved. ghost step. The ghost step yeah, is what I always that. end yeah. up doing. You're holding stuff, and you walk up the steps, and you think there's an extra step, and then you, boom, you just nail that that top step. But it's not. It doesn't exist. So True. you just make an entrance. So okay. Steve, the intern, has exclusive footage of a different angle as to what actually caused the uh, the fall in the first place. Okay. And it, you know, it sure. really, it really wasn't Joe's fault. Oh well, I mean that's it, good. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that Donald Trump? I think that's Trump. I didn't know he was there. Is he throwing twisted tees? He's throwing. That looks like two twisted tees. Ah. Oh, oh shit. wow! Good job, Trump. What the Damn hell? Damn it to hell! Why would you do that? Well, you know. Well, at least he got on the plane. At least again. he got up there. I mean, that's good. What the fuck, that's good. Trump? But they they did say that they've uh, they've implemented a a brand new device to help Joe Biden so that that doesn't happen again. Well, that's good. Like, there's there's absolutely no way a can of twisted tea is ever going to 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 do that again. So let's get a shot right now of him <laughs> using it. Oh my geek, stairs we meet again, Mr. Just as talented as white kids. That I mean, that turn uh, 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 blonde that. in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They looked at it. True and international over depression. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, well, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, all right, so the Biden administration after that, they did accept uh, oh my the, God. Uh, the uh, Putin. You Hold on. <laughs> Oh, that worked. <laughs> okay. So after that, after that, uh, Vladimir Putin saw him fall up the steps and reached out and says, Hey, Biden, you, uh, I challenge you to a debate on live TV. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh. shit got real. This got some, like, you know, some WCW action going here, WWE. Uh, we're going to do a Biden. <laughs> we're, we're definitely going to add a come on, man, and a... Come on, what, man! Whatever that last thing that he said. Two thousand so out under the pressure! That one. Yeah. Sound effects. <laughs> It'll be here next week, I promise. Yes, so. it will. Soon. Uh, so without any delays in direction, an open direct discussion. So, uh, uh, where, let me see where I am in my show map here. Okay, so, uh, the Biden administration accepted. Like, we will absolutely, hell fucking yeah... It's going to throw down, you know, fucking underdome. And then uh, Vladimir Putin's like, well, is it okay if China's there too? And then Biden, he's just like, fuck yeah, bring them all on. Bring them okay. all on. I'll, I'll talk to all of them all at the same time. So then uh, Vladimir Putin sent him a shot of where the debate is going to take place. Thank you, Tab. That's amazing. Ah, oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh no. No. So he backed out after that. Well, I don't think he's answered the phone since then. So, I mean... Okay. So a whole bunch of people got fired from the White House over the past week. Okay. you know about this story? Uh, I do not know about this Speaking story. Speaking of politics, here we go. Jeez, it's very political this week. <laughs> That's all that fucking happened in the news. It was a slow news week other than just the fucking train wreck of our fucking government. <laughs> so, a lot of people was fired in the federal government. <laughs> yes, let's go to the temple, please. For the, the dumbest reason possible. Okay. President Those Secretary who smoke says, pot are not suitable to work in the White House because of federal laws. Confirms that some staff can't because of their previous pot use. People that used it in college. Not potheads now. People that used it in college. 
and was employed what? under the previous administration were shit canned because they had smoked pot in the past. Now, as the government kind of tend to do, sup pot names kettle white so black. Uh, this caused some some ruffling of feathers from uh, many of different people. Hunter Biden watching his father fire White House staffers for past marijuana use. That is, I didn't make that. That's uh, that is the internet. Ouch. That is uh, that is facts. So uh, <laughs> speaking of politics and space council. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're. This guy told me that the news this week wasn't going to be very spicy. I don't deem it. This is spicy. And then, it, and then he chooses the spiciest of po- of topics I ever. I didn't think that this, this was was, was talking about spicy. So anyway, uh, Camilla Harris had before said, okay, okay. and I job. and I inhaled. I did it. I did inhale. Camilla smoked pot. So what's the, what's the problem? It was a long time ago. A smoke. Ah. Okay. Like and I, and she was fine with it. So the vice president is okay to smoke pot, but she's in the White House, though. Yeah, yeah. So uh, she was asked about it. I'd like to ask you. Uh, two I don't know why that's reversed. I don't think we're gonna get copyright claim. Bit of a historical mystery. I'm hoping you can help us solve. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of setups for these questions today. I like it. Go ahead. Uh, sure. So uh, circle back to Kai. Uh, Kamala Harris says she sounds just like the step uh, she said, quote, it gives like, people to a joy, tea. and we need more joy in this world. Um, she is with a clear majority of the U.S. population in supporting marijuana legalization, according to polls, two-thirds of people do, including about... Yeah, she's just like, well, against, pot's legal uh, in yet, some yet, places. Why, why did they get fired? I actually agree with that. ...staffers who are either disciplined or ter- terminated from their jobs for past marijuana use. Uh, you seem to confirm five terminations on Twitter. Um, and my question is, why would President Biden allow this to happen, especially considering uh, the White House staff were led to believe that pot use would not be disqualifying, especially considering the Vice President is herself a former marijuana user? Well, let me first say that um, what, what we try to do as an administration is wow. a security <laughs> service who actually makes these determinations about... Um, about That's honestly the first time I've uh, ever heard her talk. Uh, Are you government. serious? Yeah. Uh, not even heard her say circle back, circle back, circle back. Biden administration, nope. the rules were actually far more stringent. Uh, so that isn't... So she ends up saying that it's a federal law, not a state law, and I don't make the rules, so they're fired. Ha, 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 ha. That, so, wow. So Camilla Harris actually was, uh, you know... She seems to be free in, in the clear, like un, you know, she's not under any scrutiny. So uh, sure. she, uh, we've, Steve's got some exclusive footage of her having a party right now. That perfect time. About to start a little. Oh, fuck. It's a little late. Well, Preacher Prime, well, has made it. Good evening. Mom. <laughs> What's going on, Preacher? Thank you for what being here, man. Thank you for being here. There goes my chances of getting in the White House. Ah. Uh, and she's making Cardi B sounds, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, that's why she laughs all the time. You know, it never clicked with me. Uh, she laughs constantly. I've never guessed it. She's just, she's just happy. So anyway, uh, another person that was, uh, you know, should be asked about this whole thing, about the, the pot use and the drug use and why it's okay for some people in the government to use it and others not. Sure. Is Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden's got a long history of, of things, and he, he seems to be doing better now. Evening, Father. <laughs> I love that. So uh, we have here at, at the wrong show. We have an exclusive right now. Shri- have you guys? Oh God, that was a story that was going to make it, but it didn't. It didn't make it. I told him today. I was like, three stories is not going to make it. The shrimp toast crunch. Shrimp it's toast gonna, did not make it. It's, but it's we're overloaded with fucking politics. Yeah, so. this isn't. This is an overly politic. Uh, infested one, but checks, this is the last story checks of politics. The, uh, checks the stream. We've lost seven thousand subscribers. Yeah, well, fuck. <laughs> okay, well, well, uh, we're about to lose uh, eight thousand. So <laughs> we have an exclusive interview with Hunter Biden. Okay, right now, Steve is with Hunter Biden, and let's see how this this goes. All right, Bloodshot, Roll are you here? Bloodshot, are you are you here? He's here. Okay, cool. Hunter, Hunter Biden, can you hear us? Hunter! 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 Wake up! I don't think he knows he's on TV. Who good? He's. Who good? Hey. What? Hunter, wake up! Hey, oh god, it's the wrong show! Yeah, okay. Yeah, hey, 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 what's going on, man? Have you seen. It's going good. Have you seen my my dad? My dad? That's the thing where we're gonna ask him. Is he mad? Is he mad? 
Well, he so listen, forgets things. I am, I'm, it doesn't matter. Uh, have I don't think he's have you seen this guy who's in severe full? He's got some booger sugar. <laughs> booger sugar for me. It's fine if you don't, but I mean, he, he got lost. I don't know if it's important, but anyway. Also, have you seen? Have you seen my laptop? You're here to I answer questions, Hunter B. Questions and, about oh God. drug use. Uh, I got a really Are bad you? headache, man. Can you? I'm just gonna. All right. Well, I'm just gonna lay here. This is off the rails. It's just okay. This is ridiculous is at this it, point. Okay. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Oh, okay. I appreciate it. Right, we're going to let you go, Hunter. Okay. All right, you, uh, you take care of that. Listen, yeah, take care of your head. You're cool. Yeah. Thanks, You're man. Cool. Wow. All right, we're done with it, Hunter Biden. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, so, uh, in also <laughs> news... Booger sugar. Have I, heard I that fucking hate. Yeah, me and Danny are gonna have to have a talk off stream. <laughs> <laughs> so report Microsoft talks for buying Discord. <laughs> what for ten billion dollars? Microsoft is acquiring the company Discord. Well, there goes Discord. Well, I mean, we here at the wrong show. We just want to say that we're absolutely, positively sure. Nothing bad is going to happen to Discord. Absolutely nothing bad at all. Uh, researching this topic, I actually didn't know that they discontinued Nest. <laughs> so it's just like, Not that I don't fucking have a fucking thermostat. Yeah, yeah. It's like if you bought one originally, it'll keep working. But like for new customers, <laughs> sorry. Birds. <laughs> Duck. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hi YouTube, I love it. Uh, You're gonna love upset it. the fanboy. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. actually, I actually love Xbox, and uh, I, unlike most people in 2021, I can take a fucking joke. Yeah. So I just assumed that other people did, <laughs> and that was wrong with me. So and I uh, this, this uh, story actually comes from uh, coworker. <laughs> We know. We know. We know. We're almost to the end. Of we it. know. So, uh, anyway, this comes from coworker Giggles, actually. He saw this story. Now, this was a while ago. However, it was set up that people would learn about it at a later date. And just the headline is hilarious. Help, oh. I've been bitten by a bat and charged with soliciting prostitution. So, the whole story goes, like, how, how does he tell his parents that this, this shit actually happened? And it sounds really, really fucking bad. And uh, we actually have a shot of who the prostitute was. Which, what? once you see it, it actually makes a shit ton of sense. I'm very pro sex work, so. Uh, it's, it's okay. Oh, it's, it's Rouge the bat. the bat! Okay, well, alright. So he's a furry? I mean, we don't judge. Except for it comes to that. Hydrate! No, I don't even. Oh, God. Hang okay. on, I have to pour more. Yeah, you do. Wow. Jesus. There was one more story, and I don't know where it went. Oh, robots. I skipped over it. I almost wanted to. Okay, so... Pridger Prime, thank you so much for that, man. Thank you. Hell yeah. Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> Happened to me once. <laughs> posture, posture check. check. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. so... Yeah, we do suck at that. We're terrible about the posture. Okay, posture. final story. Here we go. Final story. Final story. We always got to have a robot story in here, right? I feel like this has been a news roast of nothing but me. Like, you're telling <laughs> You made the story earlier about with Hunter Biden, and now you're telling I me I know. need to put drywall Nobody else in my knows basement. That. Nobody like, else knows that. You, uh. You've subtly jabbed at me like five times. Like only you to know it, though. Yeah, I mean, still. Uh, so this robot can hang drywall. It can hang up. It could build a fucking house, right? He's out of points. Wait, Cabot said, "Have you seen her hips? Who are we? Who's?" Hips? I don't know what we're talking about. If it's Shakira's, oh, no, they no, don't no, lie. No, no, Ro no. Rouge the Rouge Bat. Rouge the Bat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so, so anyway. we're watching a robot install drywall? So, of course, as of last week, everyone's very afraid that these things are going to gain sentience, jailbreak themselves, and Detroit. learn how to do yeah, shit Detroit. that they're not supposed to do. So, Steve the Intern has exclusive footage. Holy shit, Ted. Thank you so much, Oh, man. my God. That's insanity. That Love is, you, you guys. You're, you, this is the best fucking chat. This chat is... Especially with this news segment. Yes. It was a slow news week. It was a slow news week. Yeah. I mean, it was just all politics. So. Yeah. We don't normally talk all politics. No, but it was half the news. So. Like, comment, and subscribe to the wrong show on YouTube. God damn it, Steve. Again? Fucking shit. Look for gaming videos.
Follow us and interact. Live on twitch.tv slash the Steve has hacked the robots again. Danny this is this is a recurring issue. Thursday night. And we fired him last week time. for this very reason. Are we gonna actually fire not him, not him now? Well he's dead. He's dead. He might be dead. He's floating around. That was even though that was the first story. That was probably his last story. Violence Steve, is not the answer. If you're alive, the question. you're fired. It is not the answer, it's just the question. The answer is yes. The answer is yes, we've been trying to reach you about your car. Well, all right. All right. All right. That's the end of that. That has been the news, everybody. We'll be right back with some video games. More video games. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh. Brought to you by Steve, the intern. His employment is always questioned.